Hey, uh, this video is uh, to illustrate my do-it-yourself pool control system um, based on Linux. Um, the Linksys NSLU2, a Linksys wireless adapter, and some other bits. Um, this is the device itself. Um, taken apart a bit so you can see. Um, the primary system to worry about here is the Arduino. Um, if you look online you can see a lot of information about them, how to program them, how to work with them, and uh, they're very easy to work with. Um, this is a protoshield and what that is is uh, you can build your own circuits on top of it to interface with the Arduino. Um, I hope I pronounced that right, I have no idea. Um, what you see on here is two Freescale MPX pressure sensors and three relays. The three relays are in a very published configuration. There's actually a PDF I found on how to do this. Um, these are three transistors. The transistors hook up to the Arduino digital output. Uh, the transistors pipe 5 volt into the relay. The relay then clicks. Um, the relay is easily capable of handling 24 volts. Uh, probably could handle a lot more. Uh, you may even be able to find relays that can handle the full pool voltage, but I chose not to do it that way. Um, what you'll see back in the back here, this is the NSLE2. And if you Google, you can find pictures of the device, but it's all mounted in the box, so I'm not going to pull it out. Um, back in here, there's a very tiny USB hub, because we don't have quite enough ports. Um, interesting thing, the NSLE2 has barely enough room just for Linux, so you'll need a flash key. I have a 4 gig one here. Um, and then this box is, I believe, an 8x8x4. Uh, NEMA 6P box available at Lowe's, uh, I believe it was $20, and uh, this is a liquid tight conduit kit, comes as a kit with the conduit and the ends, and I already have the bell wire running through, um, which is connected to the bottom of the Arduino, if you can see, uh, everything wired tied down there, but, you know, this is not my best work. Um, so, the thing that makes this all very easily easy to work with is these terminal blocks, also available at Lowe's. That way you can do a short run of wire from the Arduino to the terminal block, then do wiring through the conduit to the other side, which will hopefully go on your sub-panel, and then all of these components, which are the 24 volt transformer and the three individual contactors, can then go in the transformer. Um, so I'm going to put the camera down for a second and put this all back together so we can demo this. Okay, um, so we have everything back in the box now and this is how it's going to be outside. Um, again, this is the Linksys um, WUSB54G. Uh, works very well. Uh, there's a problem with the ARP. Uh, it doesn't broadcast its ARP address so you have to enter it manually, which I will um, post more about in detail. Uh, so we'll go ahead and turn it on here, just reach in and hit the power button. And you'll see that the NSLE2 is capable of powering the Arduino and the Linksys adapter and the hub without really a problem. Which simplifies your power requirements. So right now the power wire is not running through the conduit. I'll have to figure that out before it goes outside. And the first beep indicates that it's starting to boot. And those beeps mean that it's booted. So now we'll go to the computer and log into it. Okay, and we're back, and uh, this is my MacBook here, and as you can see, there's no wires. Um, 
this is going to connect to this which as you can see just has power nothing else um, right now what we're going to do is demo the relays um, but the power to the 24 volt transformer and notice the exposed household current wires don't touch um, the contactors will not trip so we'll go ahead and log in now so I'll be able to just SSH in so now we are in the slug um, as they are affectionately called so now we have to load the driver for the Arduino okay so that's loaded um, it's important to note here that uh, a bit of effort was put into getting this thing working on the wireless uh, building the wireless driver setting up the wireless uh, which had to be done in some clever ways because the fact that the wireless and the wired network are on the same subnet had to disable certain things so we go into my little pool control folder here and uh, there is a program, source code program out there um, to send serial commands to the Arduino and you can see if I made these little scripts and uh, you can see it just sends a series of commands and I wrote a program for the Arduino that just takes simple commands over the serial uh, A1 and A0 turn on the pool pump and off B1 and B0 turn the light relay on and off and C1 and C0 is for miscellaneous. Um, so we'll go ahead and we will turn the pump on. And of course that didn't work. Oh, there it goes. Um, I'm probably going to have to revise how it does it, but um, I don't know if you can hear the clicks or the microphone, but I'll go ahead and put aim the camera over that way so you can hear it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the pump on. So and you can even see the light flickering as I send the commands on the wireless. So that's the pump on and there's uh, different commands to control different relays. I could probably write a script to put on a little show, but that's silly. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the contactor power, uh, which as I said, this is simply for demonstration purposes shouldn't leave household current just exposed so now that's plugged in so now when I turn these on you will hear a satisfying clunk if I get the window topped or I could have just crashed it yeah I have a feeling that I just crashed it when I bumped the power cord I'll be right okay and we're back and what we figured out just happened is uh, when I plugged in the power for the transformer I bumped the plug which knocked out the power to the uh, NSO2 which caused this problem and I also figured out that I have a problem with my control protocol um, so that'll have to be revised but I got it working enough for the demo um, if I turn pump on can hear the contactors click, pump off, miscellaneous one, off, and the light on, light off. So that is pretty much all there is to it. Um, Internet-based control over your pool. And that is everything.